Hey guys, in this video lecture, we will allow the user or author to edit the post that he or she has created. So without taking so much time, let's get started. First, we will create the post edit form. So open up the form.py file. We need title, body and status of the post create form inside our post edit form. So just copy and paste the post create form. And let's rename the post create form to post edit form that uh, so that it will be used while creating the post edit view so open up the view.pf file and uh, import the post edit form here actually uh, just write, remove all the forms that we have already here and just import star and uh, just write star which will import all the uh, classes from the forms.pf file so that we can use it here instead of writing each class again and again so we'll write post after the post create view we'll just write post edit view give, uh, give some space here so write div post underscore edit and uh, which takes a request parameter and the id itself because it is unique so we don't need slug here because uh, id is itself unique which will do the work for us so when we click on the edit button that we'll uh, create in a moment the edit button has an information of the post detail view with an id associated with it and uh, when we click on it and it will show the edit form with the fields already filled from the database so we'll get the post here for the, for the particular id or the uh, using the get object or 404 method we take the post model and the id itself that we have passed into the, our url so after that we'll check here if request dot method double equals to post and if it is in post we'll create a form object here with from the post edit form uh, which takes a request dot post or none and the instance itself i'll explain in a bit just write it first and if check here if form dot is underscore valid we just save the form we don't, we don't need to do anything and after saving the form into the database or updating the form into the database we'll just return http response redirect and we'll have the post dot get absolute absolute underscore url method in the models.py file in order to return to the post detail view after submitting or updating the form in the else part if the request dot method equals get um, the, instead of post we'll just initialize the form which is the post edit form and our, our instance is equals to post here as well why we are keep writing instance is equals to post here just make a guess see when we click on the edit button uh, it will open up the form or the post edit view and the post edit view contains the post edit form in order to edit the form so in order to edit something we do have something to edit it so it, it is the things or the it is like the title and body and the status already be filled from the database that's why we have used instance is equals to post this is the post that we have we are editing or updating get it and after that we'll write context here inside that context we'll write form excuse me it's form and the post that we will use in the post edit template and we'll return render the request is the request and the inside that block directory we'll create post underscore edit dot html and uh, the context here is so so view is complete and uh, now create a url url for this view so open up the blog urls.py file and at the very top of the url pattern or the list uh, we'll include the url url create url here and we'll write excuse me it's r and inside that we'll pass the p 
id and slash d plus then we'll have post underscore edit views dot post underscore edit and let's name it post underscore edit as well save it and uh, now we'll create the template for our edit view so one of the templates block directory will create a new file here and let's name it post underscore edit dot html and then we need to extend the base template or the parent template which is the using the extends keyword uh, extends template tag and then we'll write blog base dot html after that we'll write block title here and block we do have the post context variable here so we'll write post dot title or theta a then we are in the edit mode so we'll specify the title as well and inside that we'll write block content in this block content we'll create a form so right and block here create a form here we don't need the class section and but we need the method equal post here and inside that we'll write csrf token for cross site request for g token itself and we have the context variable of form dot as underscore p and then we'll create an input type of submit uh, we don't need the name here or right now and the value should be update because we will update the form here and the class will write btn btn success only so we have our template is also ready and uh, we need to create a edit button here inside the post detail view uh, just at the like section uh, right uh, div section here and let's name the class as section icon one and we'll use the style or we'll align the or line or button to the right of the web page using style float equals right inside the div class we'll write anchor tag we'll create anchor tag inside that anchor tag we do have uh, we'll do pass the url for our post edit view which is inside the blog post url.pr file which is post underscore edit and we'll need to pass the id as well from here so that it can be able to uh, so that it will know uh, which post you are going to edit the post inside that anchor tag we'll write create a button of type button and we don't need the name here instead of name we'll write class which is a btn btn outline success which is the bootstrap class itself and inside that button we'll write just add it here so we are done with the edit button as well <laughs> check if the server is up and running and if you go to the browser here and let's refresh it and if you go to the post 3 that we have created we do have the edit button click on that it is saying cannot resolve five into the field choices are all the, 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 the check oh, excuse me uh, it's if you can see here uh, it is throwing an error on post edit view that says post comma id and i have not specified in the id equals id here see we need to specify id equals id this is the, the id which we need to assign it into the id so if we refresh the uh, check if the server is up and running and if we refresh the server or browser it is saying uh, and the block oh it's another error is coming which is the end block it is good to have that uh, you should also know what error is coming and how to resolve them so open up the where it is it's inside the post edit.html so open up the post edit.html and we do have end block here so make sure this server is up and running and now run the server again and refresh the browser and here we go we do have the after clicking on the edit button we do have the post already filled using 
uh, what we have provided here which is the instance is equals to post here content goes here for post 3 if we can update update it update it and update this it will go to the post detail view using uh, http response data at post dot get absolute url just after saving the form and it will fetch the post detail view go to the post detail view here see and we can also be able to see that our content or body part has been updated our check if life is also working so see as you can see here the post has been created uh, one more thing is remaining the post has been created by the user Abhishek and we are logged in with Rajesh user Rajesh Trivedi user so how uh, he can be able to edit the post so but the author uh, so and you won't like others to edit your post so to avoid this we need to check the condition in our post detail view if we go to the post detail view we need to check here we will not show the edit button at all if the user which is logged in and the post or post author author of the post are not equal so we check just here this is if post star author as post model has author field uh, double equals to if only the author uh, if the logged in user equals post or other then it will see otherwise it will not see so it will not show the edit button so we will write and if here and if we check if the server is up and running and we go to the browser here and if we refresh the page you can see edit button has been gone so if we click on Rajesh post here if you have one a Catherine Cruz post we can see edit is shown to the post who is the author of the post so we can be able to edit that post but still there is a, some hack in this because if we click on post 3 and we do have 57 and we write post underscore edit url that we have created just the id and the post id for edit and we click on that we do still have the post edit form updating so how to resolve this or how to avoid this uh, this is a small hack so to achieve this uh, we'll go we'll need to update the view so open up the views.pv file and go to the post edit view here just after getting the post we'll need to check here as well if post star author not equals to request star author request.user excuse me uh, we'll just raise an http 404 error http 404 page uh, it will just raise the uh, show the http 404 page uh, but for that we need to include the http 404 inside uh, just in, after the uh, inside the django.http which is uh, which is already imported i have already imported the http 404 page this is a uh, very handy module or we can say http module which uh, automatically gives us the http for our page uh, without coding extra blog or lines or statements and we'll do it in one statement so we are checking here inside the post edit view if post uh, author of the post and the logged in user are not same it will just return http for for page if we refresh the page here again and you as you can see page not found for your page has been shown to the user so uh, we are all good here uh, we are now able to update the post and edit the post and only the author of the post can be able to or the logged in user and the author of the post can be able to use uh, edit that post so we are all good here in the next video lecture we will show the multiple images form so the author of the post can be able to update the images as well so stay tuned with me if you like my videos guys please do subscribe my channel see you in the next video lecture